Hey, welcome into a special edition of Auburn Live Recruiting Show. We are joined. We got a special guest today. Fantastic guest, Mr. Maurice Harris, Director of Football and Recruiting Relations at Auburn University. Maurice, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me, man. Just excited to be here. Uh, can't wait uh, to to get going fully uh, to get my family there. You know, I'm, I'm back in Mississippi right now, finishing the last touches of um, you know moving to to Auburn. But uh, we're very excited, man. Can't wait to get going. Maurice, your title is Director of Football and Recruiting Relations. Talk to everybody about kind of what your job uh, entails, what, what you're going to be doing at Auburn. So it's it's very similar to uh, what I've been doing with Coach Freeze from a standpoint of, you know, being involved uh, with the offense, uh, giving, you know, um, suggestions, things of that nature, um, you know, uh, helping um, uh, markers out with the receivers, uh, and also on the recruiting end, you know, with me being a recruiting coordinator for Coach Freeze for, you know, about seven years, you know, at Arkansas State and, and at Ole Miss, you know, so um, bringing, you know, the, the knowledge that I've gained over the years uh, to, to help us have a tremendous, you know, season on the field and also in, in recruiting. So that that's going to be my job. Maurice, you've been with Coach Freeze for, I think, 11 of the past 12 years, if I'm not mistaken. Last year was uh, your, your long year without him. Before that, you were at, with him at Liberty, uh, at Ole Miss, at Arkansas State. What's your relationship with like with, uh, like with Coach Freeze? And and obviously, you guys have a, a pretty pretty strong bond there. Yes. You know, I would say that, you know, it's, it's a family uh, with Coach Freeze and I. And, and with that being said, you know, when – the girls were younger, you know, my girls would go on vacation with Coach Freeze and his family and, um, you know, Reagan, um, most specifically, would go on vacation with us. And, you know, I just know the ins and outs of how he is, he operates uh, from, you know, game day to practices to what he expects uh, in the building, the culture that he wants to set. You know, I've been around him for a long time, so I know those things. Um, and then, too, you know, he's a mentor uh, for me as well, you know. Um, We've walked through some some tough battles uh, professionally and personally, and uh, he's always one that I could always, you know, depend on to to shoot me straight. You know, you need those people in your life uh, that's going to tell you the truth, um, even when that truth may cut you, but it's coming from a place of love. And, you know, I, I've been that same way for him as well. <laughs> Coach, you uh, recently got to participate in the Senior Bowl as one of the fellowship um co coaches over there talk a little bit about that experience what what was your learning experiences there and how that really came about i tell you what it, it was really a god thing how it came about one of my good friends he coaches he's the defensive coordinator uh with the new england patriots and he called to see how i can get in it for the next year and they just so happened to have an opening um for me and they got me in right away so man he called on a wednesday they called me on a Thursday and I was in it on that Friday. So, uh, but it was a great, it was really an, a great experience for me um, just to be around those coaches, to be around those uh, caliber players. And, you know, a couple of things that, that I realized, no, number one, football is football. You got me. And um, the focus that those boys had was, was really special to be around. You know, those guys, they, they wanted to be coached. Um, they would call you at night to, to get you to go over the install with them. Um, and if they didn't understand it, let's get on the board so I get a better understanding of it. So uh, that that was very, it was a great experience for me uh, to make those relationships, but also to see the hunger uh, in those guys' eyes that, that were trying to get to the NFL. You spent one season as the offensive coordinator at Jackson State under head coach T.C. Taylor. What, what, last season, you guys ranked number one in the SWAC in total offense. Well, talk a little bit about your decision to take this position at Auburn after just one season as OC at Jackson. Yeah, so many people would be surprised the reason why I took it. Um, number one, my daughter, who lives in Troy, uh, her and her husband are, are expecting, you know what I mean? And to get – I've been praying for an opportunity to get back closer to to my girls, you know, uh, to, my, to my daughter so my wife can be with her. Uh, throughout this whole process. I can be with, with my son-in-law, Heskin, throughout this process to, to help them out. But also, too, to see what's happening at, at Auburn, you know, um, and to be in this offense with, with Coach Nix, who I've been knowing, you know, for years, uh, with Coach Austin, who I've been knowing for years, Coach Agamore, I've been knowing for years, um, and be around, you know, guys that, that um, you know, have similar beliefs, 
uh, fundamentally, uh, but also uh, have matching hearts to what we feel, you know, uh, is right, you know, on and off the field. So uh, that was exciting for me and my family as well, you know, but man, for Coach Taylor to give me an opportunity, I'm indebted to him. You know, he, he does a great job with those guys over there. And we were fortunate enough to have some success this past season uh, on the offensive side of the football. And uh, they got a, a nice crew coming back. I think they got like nine starters coming back. So they should be pretty good this season as well. Coach, last thing, I, I know you guys have only had three spring practices here at Auburn. Uh, you've been working, like you said, with Coach Marcus Davis at the wide receiver position. That wide receiver position is going to be a key interest uh, for a lot of Auburn fans. What have you seen early from that wide receiver group, uh, specifically Cam Coleman's the big five-star coming in, uh, Bryce Kane's coming in, Cam Brown's coming back, Rivaldo's back, uh, they're tight end position. But what have you seen? What are your expectations for this group? Uh, for us to be one of the top – receiver cores in, in the whole nation. Uh, that, that's the expectation. And, and that's the way we go about our business on a daily basis. Um, but to talk about the receiver group in particular, man, those guys, man, they, they have a thirst uh, for knowledge. Um, they want to be coached and um, they don't mind you coaching them. Uh, hitting some, like I talk, talking about some tough things that may cut, you got me, but they know that it's coming from a good place. So they, they're receptive to it. You know, but uh, th these um, these last couple of days, especially the last day that we left, man, you know, we, we had a, a really good practice. And, um, you know, Bryce, man, that, that guy can fly. And, you know, just, you know, in transition, you hear the DB say, hey, listen, six, man, you better be on your P's and Q's. That boy fly right by you. you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, man, just Cam, he just has, man, so many natural attributes, a natural ball catcher. He can run. You know, he can get in and out of cuts. Um but the most important thing about uh, Cam, man, he's a great kid, and he's 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 very coachable. You know, I like some of the guys that I, I've been around. You know, I, I look at him in, in between, a, you know, a mixture of a, a DK Metcalf and an AJ Brown. You know what I mean? A big body kid that can run. You know, but uh, man, I'm telling you, uh, the sky's the limit uh, for for that group uh, and Cam in particular. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um... Uh, good luck to Auburn. Welcome to the to the town, to the uh, to the campus. Yeah, War Eagle. No thanks. Appreciate Thank you, you, Coach.